Hi everybody, Alex Shaker here. This is the third video in the Gain Website SEO series. So where we left off last time was with Google's formula and in the last video I showed you what high quality websites mean for Google and now I'd like to continue with that and tell you what a compelling, relevant, and dynamic content means for Google. So let's continue. Compelling, relevant, and dyna dynamic. How does Google actually measure that. Now, for compelling content, you know, there's some rules that you need to follow. In general, the more text that you have on your website, the better. Now, in reality, what happens is there's going to be a uh, kind of a balance between uh, what is readable uh, versus what is actually good for SEO. Because, as you probably know, people don't tend to read a lot on the internet in general they want graphics they want bullet points they want short and sweet so you kinda have to balance that with the amount of content that you have so what I would suggest is you know on websites write an article write an in-depth article excuse me 600 words or more and um, make it very relevant to the title of your page and relevant to the offer that you have on your website. Make it as informative as possible. Now at the top of that article, put in as many bullet points and graphics as you want because the top of the page is what most people are going to see anyway. But make sure that the rest of the content is there for SEO purposes. The top of the content for visuals and getting your visitors to read the, the, you know, the essential points and then the rest of the page for writing thorough articles you want to make sure that you're answering all the questions that people are going to have that visit that particular page of your website and like I said use images and graphics to illustrate the point images and graphics are also good for SEO as long as they are uh, meta tagged Google Bing and Yahoo and all these search engines they don't really have a way to read the content of your graphics but what they do read is the meta tags of the graphics so be as descriptive as possible in the meta tagging and I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, in, in more depth about how to actually do the meta tagging of your website that's going to be in a later video basically how you implement all the things that I talk about here in a lot more depth but I just want to uh, cover the salient points here and let you know the overall and then I'm going to get into the specifics now do not copy content from other websites. In reality, though, what happens is you're going to copy content, but you've, it's got to be original. If you copy content from other websites, Google knows that it's copied, okay? And they're going to take points away from you for that. In fact, if all your website is copied from somewhere else, you could not only get uh, a DMCA notice, which is... Uh, basically copyright notice to let you know that you've got to shut down your page but most importantly Google could sandbox your site sandbox means they take you off their search engines completely so if you're taking content if you're taking um, you know cues from other websites that are successful that's perfectly okay but rewrite everything use you know different words use synonyms uh, have somebody preferably a professional writer rewrite your content so that it is original okay now make sure there are no spelling or grammatical errors it didn't they didn't used to but they know when spelling is incorrect and when there are grammatical errors on the site they can tell so you know have a professional proofread your site it usually doesn't cost very much you could even have uh, your family member or friends proofread it for you You'll, they'll find stuff that you won't see simply because you may be the one that wrote it and you can't see your own errors alright so that's pretty simple and I really want you to do that don't stuff your article or your content with keywords at one point in time five years ago maybe uh, this used to work yeah, even up to I would say 2011 2012 you could stuff a page with keywords and Google would give you bonus points for that. Do not do that anymore. They not only not give you bonus points anymore, they will give you negative points for that. So you will lose authority in Google if you do that. 
Don't mention your main keywords more than twice in an article. Rule of thumb. In a 600 word article, don't mention your main keywords more than twice. Um, use synonyms. Use related terms. That's good. Synonyms are good. Google looks for that to determine whether your article on the web page is consistent. All right? So use that. New content. You know, when I talk about dynamic, that's what I mean. Dynamic content is new content on your website that's constantly changing. So the more dynamic your website is in terms of new content, new pages being added, uh, the more authority Google's going to give you. So simple suggestion, you can hire a blogger or get articles written. You can get articles written for as little as uh, $5 per article. Uh, I'm going to talk about in separate videos how you can do that, which are the trusted websites to go to to get articles written. All right? I'll give you a lot more detail on that. Like I said, I'm, I'm covering the overall right now because I don't want you to get bogged down with the details. But I will have all the details for you on exactly how to do this stuff. All right? Now, when it comes to keywords, instead of going for a large number of keywords, write more about existing keywords and long tail keywords and related keywords okay you know a lot of people think that the more keywords they have on their website the more keywords they're going to rank for that simply is not the case what you're going to do is you're going to diminish the authority of your website and uh, dilute it because focused website that concentrates on three to nine keywords total is going to have a much better chance and it's going to have much higher authority in Google than a site that's trying to rank for a hundred different keywords. Google won't give you any authority for any of them. Be very, very concise and focused. Think about the types of customers that you want to get and the keywords where people are actually you know, searching for things most relevant to what you've got to offer. Design your website around those keywords. Okay, so when it comes to compelling, relevant, and dynamic content, I haven't covered everything, but I will cover everything in my more detailed reports, and I'll show you how you can get on my detailed report that's going to give you a lot more information about not only you know, a continuation of these bullet points, but some of the finer points and, and a lot more detail on how to actually implement this stuff. All right, so stay tuned, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, folks.